guys some water. You want to come up here? You want to play? Huh? You want to play? You're going to be goofy? Hey. You're going to be goofy? What you guys going to do today? Huh? Yeah. What you going to do? Are you trying to buck me? You trying to get attention? Huh? You guys gonna get attention? Yeah. We gotta get you guys some water. It's hot over here. They follow me everywhere. Hey, what's going on, Opals? You got your hay and stuff in there. Yeah, we got your hay in there. We gotta get water. Okay, I thought I would do a video for you guys on Opal here in the White and Winchester and a little update on their bottles. Yeah, hi. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in here quick and I'll talk to you guys. So the reason why we didn't wean off right away is because I heard you could go to 16 weeks with feeding them a bottle and um, we are at nine, so I think we are gonna go until like 12 weeks. So then what I'm gonna do is just take that morning bottle away and they will only get their nighttime feeding so that at least they get a warm bottle before they go to bed um, or be put in. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. And then um, I know a lot of people at like eight weeks just cut it out all together and then they just don't get a bottle. Most of the feedings that they're getting right now is grains, hay, and water. And they don't really need anything else besides that. So usually when a goat gets to be about eight weeks is when they get um, bought and they will be weaned off from their mom. So that's why a lot of them just kind of take them off right away and don't do the whole weaning process. But because they are ours and they are our pets, we are just gonna let them on for a little bit longer. So I just got a couple more weeks feeding them the nighttime bottle. Um, I know a lot of people have a hard time with doing the weaning, because, weaning off because they cry a lot. And we haven't had any Winchesters trying to get me. You trying to get me? Huh? You trying to get me? So a lot of, um, let's see if you can sit here. Can you sit there? Here, come here. Here. I thought you like eating my hair, don't you? You like eating my hair, don't you? He likes to eat hair and jump, right? Right, Winchester, you like attention. Opal's really mild. Um, so Opal doesn't really jump that much on people. And Opal doesn't like eat hair or anything like that. And I think Winchester does just because she like or he likes hay more than um, she does. Or maybe because he's a male and he's just more um, aggressive that way. But they're very mild. They don't... Evelyn, he jumps on just because she's little and he just likes to jump on her and play with her. But otherwise, um, they're really gentle and stuff. What I am going to do is, um, Winchester wants to say hi. Yeah, Winchester. I can't sit down like that because he wants to push me over. Yeah, you want attention, don't you? Huh? Okay, so I know a lot of people have problems winning their goats off at a certain age because they get kind of whiny. But with us, we come out in the morning, we give them their feed and their hay and their water and the kids play with them for a little bit. They are ex they are going to expect their bottle tomorrow. And um, I'm not real concerned when it comes to that. We just won't have the bottles with us. And I think it was more on them seeing the bottles that was affected. Do you want to go in the house? So they're just not going to see the bottles and then that's going to help with them not wanting it so bad. But then at nighttime, we'll give it to them at nighttime and they'll be totally fine. I'm kind of rambling a lot right now, but I'm just trying to get the point across on what we do 
for feedings. Um, so, okay, let's backtrack just a little bit. There, I have other videos. If you go under the playlist of our little animals or farm animals or something like that, I have it in there on how we started feeding them and how I got them on the bottle at two weeks old and our feeding schedule. And then I also had the milk replacer video on what milk we used for them. And then today their update on what they're doing now. So I just gave them their morning bottle. Tonight before we put them in, they'll have a night bottle. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning um, they will not get a bottle, but we won't have one with us, so they won't be so anxious about it. We'll just give them extra love and attention and give them their hay and grains, and they should be okay that way. Because um, anytime that we come down to the coop or whatever, they don't demand a bottle anyways. So I'm thinking that they'll be fine without having that bottle. And right now they're getting 16 ounces. So that's kind of one thing I didn't discuss with you was ounces. When we first started, check out that other video. Like I said, they started Winchester, the little Nigerian dwarf. He was on about one or two ounces for a good like week or so because he had like stomach issues with us um, taking him off mama and giving them our replacement. Uh, they did very good with our replacement milk. We didn't have any other issues as in them getting sick or anything on it. And then it was probably, like I said, three or so weeks when we, at that time we were doing four bottles. So then it was a couple weeks later that we cut back at three bottles a day. So I would say after three or four weeks we cut down to three bottles a day and then after I think we got to like six weeks we were doing two bottles a day so morning and night and I will leave you guys kind of like a schedule at the end of this video kind of what I did each week or what I, I know what I'll do I'll leave it in the description so I'll do it by weekly and give you a schedule line of what we did and then i will leave down in the description the video yeah the video of our how we got them on a bottle and then our replacement milk so you guys can check out that vid, them videos too yeah i know it's okay so i will leave that all there and then how many ounces they were drinking so uh the first week they only had a little bit winchester had the two ounces opal had about four to five ounces the first week and opal went up pretty quick opal had no problems that's our fainting goat she had no problems with drinking the replacement milk that we were using and then after that we went up to i think it was like a week or two we went up to 10 ounces and she did really good with that. And then anytime that she wouldn't drink her full bottle, then we cut back the next day and I just brought it down an ounce and then she did really good. And then we kind of played around with it that way. And then Winchester, he went up to um, about four ounces, maybe like two to three weeks later, only because he is a Nigerian dwarf, he's tiny. So he isn't gonna drink as much as Opal. Um, but now that we are nine weeks old, they both are drinking 16 ounces and Winchester is doing so much better. You'll notice in the video where I am feeding him a bottle, he would grind his teeth a lot and I had to ask another couple with goats um, what the issue was and it had to do with him being off his mom's milk and maybe having a stomach ache and stuff. So after we got over that, which was maybe like two to three days, he was taking the milk much better and he took the bottle better too. We just had to switch out the bottle and use a different one. And then after he was comfortable, we ended up going back over to the other bottle. And the tops that we got for our bottles were at the tractor supply place. And the other little bottle I just got at Walmart and then the bottles we were just using soda bottles so that worked out good i would microwave their milk in a separate cup 
and then you can warm it up on the stove if you guys don't use microwaves and that'll work too and you just gotta make sure that their milk is i think it's about 100 degrees or so you might want to <laughs> i'll leave you down i'll leave that down in the description or at the end what what you get in your mouth or down at the end of the video here like down below the screen on how hot the milk has to be i kind of just microwaved it for about four minutes with two cups in there and it still was just like a warm to the touch and that's all it needs to be just so their body can digest it better I hope I'm not like rambling on and I wish I would have this video a little bit more in order. So when I um, put this video out for you guys, I'll try to make it make more sense. But that's our update right now for that. Um, they are doing really, really good. They're getting so big. I look back at the other videos and they're so tiny. And I can tell already that Opal is getting big. Even when I have to carry her, she's pretty solid now. So. Okay, so tomorrow morning they will not get a bottle and we won't bring a bottle down here so they won't know any difference. But because um, they're not real big whiners, like I said in the beginning of the video. So they should be okay without the bottle in the morning. But we will give them one tomorrow night and then we will continue that until they're 12 weeks old. So. That's all tonight. Do they want them? Do they want it? So, okay. So sometimes when they get kind of full, they kind of just want to go to wherever there's extra. And then once they're done, they're done. Here, you want to grab these and throw them out there? Yes. Winchester wants more. Okay. So we are done with our night feeding. Hopefully that helped you guys understand a little bit more on goat feeding and their schedule. I'll leave like a list at the end of the video or down in the description. One of the areas on um, feeding schedule by weekly and then when to start weaning them off. And it might differ from what style or what type goats you have. So you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.